Should you do yoga with lower back pain? Hi, my name is Olaf. The topic today is yoga. I personally know a woman who is a master world-class yoga teacher. She is 78 eight years old and she's still teaching and she's still traveling. Yoga has a lot to say about longevity and being healthy. However, I won't say but, however, she had chronic lower back discomfort due to very tight muscles in her legs. She is one of the people that by treating her on a regular basis I learned the work that I am now presenting to you on YouTube and on my website. Yoga stretches muscles from my perspective too long. The muscle is stretched too long and what that does is the muscle recoils and the muscle becomes shorter. So you think you're stretching it, and I've had this discussion with so many people over the years, I've just decided to put it on YouTube simply because you're either going to believe me or you're not, or you're going to try it or not. I have had runners tell me, this is the stretch that I do for my glutes. And they sit there and they bring their leg, their leg up, and then they bend over on a table and they hold that for two minutes. Ah, stretch that thing out, man. I've seen their posture change over the years. I've seen their stride become smaller, the runners. That's how you tell whether someone's staying flexible or not if they're a runner. If all of a sudden, in a 100-yard spot, when they were doing 100 steps to cross that 100 yards, if now all of a sudden they're doing 120 steps, that means their stride is getting shorter. And that's tighter muscles. It's just how it is. In yoga, it's the same thing. I have had, I can't even count them anymore yoga teachers and yoga practitioners come to me with I've got this chronic pain here what's the cause of it the cause of it is that the downward dog was done too long or some other form in yoga they liked it and they did too much of it and because it's not two seconds stretch to a feel good hurt it ended up becoming the muscle got shorter and shorter and shorter now in yoga they have diet they have breathing they have water they have all these other great things I just don't like holding the stretch for that long. I know a gentleman who's in his 80s who goes to India all the time and his friends are all yoga teachers and he is now getting to the place where he has better range of motion than they do after he's done my stretch video. Another plug for my stretch video there. But he's coming to the place at 80 years old he's getting more flexible but he's not holding the stretch for two minutes. And he's teaching his friends, if you want to be more flexible, you want to be able to do this, blah, on and on. You need to stretch, and this is the muscle you need to stretch. They all know their muscles. They know which muscle they have to stretch. So then if they just, for a short period of time, do the active, isolated, two-second stretch, and they, and they stretch themselves out, they come to a place where all of a sudden they're doing the form perfectly. So if a yoga practitioner have, has gotten themselves into trouble somewhere, and there's something they can't do, and they've got a pain and a discomfort, do your active isolated two second stretches, drink your water, do your breathing, eat your, eat your, your, uh, your food the way you like to eat your food, stretch out that particular problem and then carry on with your lifestyle. The lifestyle is very valuable and, very, and, and there are many people who just love that lifestyle. It's just when you get into trouble, don't keep stretching that muscle for a long period of time. My experience is take a month, do the stretch video, figure out how you're going to um, be kind to your body and stretch it, stop stretching it for long periods of time, just quit that for a month and then do the active isolated stretch, then you can go back to your yoga again. The long stretches do not help you in rehab. Same as my issue with, with physical therapists. They hold the stretch too long. They shouldn't be doing that, but that's how they've been trained and they don't know any better than that. Yoga, go for it, but change your change the rapidity of it. If you want to do hot yoga, that's very, very interesting, very cool way of doing it. But don't hold the stretch for a minute. Hold the stretch for two seconds and get out of it. It's going to change the form in yoga, and that may be exactly how that needs to evolve. Maybe there has to be someone that does a fast yoga as opposed to a slow yoga. You're already meditating in the slower, slower uh, process. Then maybe we need to have a little bit faster yoga. I can, if, if there are people out there that want to learn, I can teach you how to do these stretches 
for yoga. We could invent a faster style of yoga. Anybody out there want to learn about that, contact me. If you like what you hear, my website is below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to giving you more information. Thank you.